Oh hi yo! My name is Minomi Toku and welcome to the last episode of Undertale. Well, we we have beaten the final boss in the last episode, but there's still something we need to do. And that is walk back to the beginning of everything and greet all the monsters while doing so. So this is a, a I guess this is the time to talk about the whole game and well you might be wondering if you if you've played this game before or if you know the whole story of this game like I I didn't kill any monster during this run right but there's also a run the genocide route it's called where you kill everything you kill every monster you have no mercy at all and that route is well much less shorter I heard but it has also the most difficult fight in it so no I, I won't do that I, I can't beat the last boss no not with my gaming skills if I even have some what's this hi there we were hired by Metaton to destroy you but since he never paid us we all decided to quit no hard feelings sure uh, nope not this way so yeah thanks for not wanting to destroy me anymore and here we go into the hotel hi there Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time. Or ever again. Yep, they closed down entirely. What about the restaurant? Blub, blub. Now we can live life without reservations. Mm hmm. So, if you're leaving, will my job. Um, and I just got a raise! Well, guess every apple has its core. <laughs> Aww. The surface world. Really? Maybe I'll be able to go two feet without running into a puzzle. Uh, yeah, I think so. Is there anyone? Yep. You here. You. Oh, we're all free? Oh, I guess I can stop licking this vicus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. <laughs> oh. You, you should have just gotten a reservation and I mean now it's all for naught I guess hi there sorry the resort's shutting down but I think you'll find it still great to pass through yep it is so what do you have to say good news the elevator started working again but now it's been so busy we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it mm. are you guys on your way out Guess I'll catch up with you later. Yep, those are all busy working people. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. Good to hear. What do you have to say? Talk. Freedom. So, we're free, huh? Madison told us as much. Then he told me, don't think that means you're getting out of work early. Nah, my boss, I love that guy. And by that I mean I hate him so much. Freedom. Don't tell anyone that, little buddy. Because they'll make fun of me. But I, I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. Even if it was just working this awful job. I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I believe it anyway. Yeah, cool. So what do you want to do in the future? Little buddy, there's a brand new world out there waiting for us. I'm sure with my <laughs> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's as I say, nowhere to go but up, literally, in this case. Mm-hmm. You're right there. Anytime, little buddy. Yep, thanks for talking. Oh wait, didn't those guys here want something? Room service never came. Aww. Yeah, I... 
I totally forgot to bring them their CT and something. Oh, hi there. Trying to finish up work. Uh, you're never gonna finish up work. No response. Also, now would be the time that I wish that there was a run button that I could just run or speed up a little bit. Nah. Hi there. I'm so excited to sell an ice cream on the surface. If all humans are like you, I think it'll be really popular. What do you think? Mm, yeah, might be. Undyne told us the royal guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get a used to love and peace. Mm hmm. You have to. He seems happy. Yeah, because you found each other. No, not to the puzzles. I want to go here. Oh, Mr. Flamesman! What? Do you want to rematch? No, I don't. Thanks. I think Alphys is gone. So we go. We're going just to left floor one. Or was it right floor one? Uh, I don't remember. Was it L1? I hope it was L1. Yes, it was L1. So I think Elphys closed down her lab, right? Uh, well, anyway, she, she would be waiting at the end. So, a Metaton should also be there, so nothing to do here. But oh my gosh. There's a cat on the desk! Here, right in front! It's a teacup shy yellow lizard. It's full of soda. That's not a lizard. It's a cat sitting in front of a mouse. So nice. Alphys, you have style. You have style. Well, you're, you're, you're a nerd and otaku, whatever you want to call it, but she's quite cute. Ta la la. Careful, right? Yep. Yes, please. I want to go to waterfall first. Then we're off. Good. And this time we're actually running across the water. Hi there. Nyong, 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 nyong. Ta la la. Remember to take a break every so often. Uh, I have taken a pretty long break, I would say. So, here we are in waterfall. Thanks, uh, cat boat. And it's not a cat bus, it's a cat boat. And what do you have to say, actually? Fluffy buns, why? Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was giving her part on current events. After finishing her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone, microphone was still in her hands when she said, your turn, Fluffy Buns? <laughs> the audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd, gr crowd grew silent. He, lean he leaned towards the microphone, expression stern. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns. And the rest is history. <laughs> is Ascor a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore a flower pattern moo moo. Folks kept saying nice moo moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. Aww. So she never wore it again. Aww. What was the question again? Oh, right. Ascor. He's really interesting type of monster. The strongest type of all. We'll call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the soul power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parents age. But Asgor doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. Um, wait, he has or had a child. Huh? What? If a child is human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore is your father, he'll definitely outlive you. <laughs> Asgore and Toriel, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Toriel was queen and Asgore was the king. As it was, it was tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. 
but it was also just a teensy, teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two were really insufferable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing the children. They were so sweet it made me sick. Thank god those days are over. Well, they might be coming back if Toriel forgives Asgore one day. What about Undyne? Undyne? She's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days. Jerson, the hammer of justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help, though most of the time the folks she attacked weren't bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. <laughs> oh wow. Undyne was really was a handful. Um, is the snail race still going on? Yes, it is. Hi there, snail, snail. You reached the end of your extensive journey. Snail, snail. What a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. Yep, will do. Good, muscles stretched. Thanks for reminding me. Are you still? Yep, the housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. Yep. Using its money, the snail bought a hat. Uh huh. Better buy a hat. And yes, the, sna the snail race is still going on, but where Napster Block isn't here. Napster Block? Oi, Blocky, where are you? Not here, apparently. Oh, hi there, Melaton? There you are, Frisk Darling! Feast your eyes, Dr. Elf has completed my new wonderful body. Oh, and did you hear? The barriers open! I can't wait to see the sun, the greatest spotlight of all. Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling. Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others, so I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troupe. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. Shiren? Well, she can sing, but she is really shy, I think. And mm, Napster Block here will be my sound mixer. The three of us be performing together, it really feels overdue, doesn't it? Mm hmm. It's locked. Um, still going on? Computers, internet browser, uh, browsers open to a music sharing forum still. But Spiderweb, there's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Yeah, of course, but his remixes aren't here. Oh well, let's just talk. Oh, Metatron, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on, when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home, listening to tunes. There was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear, then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name, except for me. Frisk. Oh, I won't forget it. Napsterblock is such a cool guy. And also such a nerd. Also, let's hop over. This little bird wants to carry you across. Yes, get a ride. Meh. Oh, it's struggling so hard. <laughs> go bird, go bird, go bird, go bird. Don't drop me. Thanks, you did it. Wee. Thank you, little birdie. Thank you. There we go. This little bird wants to carry you across. Nope. Nope. So there's tons of little means to get you across the, the whole underground as fast as p 
possible. We can go and see the real stars now, but I still don't know what those are. Oh well, oh well. You will see. You will see. An echo flower? Squeak! Of course it's a squeak, because it's a mouse hole right there. What are you? Free gold for the fairy. Yes, hop on. Thank you. Where will you bring me here? Whee! Thanks for stepping on my face. Here's the free gold. You got free gold. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that it worked that way. But well, thanks for free gold. Echo flowers. Did they change? Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Well, you got your wish. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Now, all we have are those sparkling stones on the ceiling. Yeah, we read those. Oh, mushrooms! <laughs> Remember solving those puzzles? And here comes where, where we first met Undyne. It's it's just so I don't know, it feels nostalgic. Eh, no, don't push me down. It just feels so nostalgic, like like it was two two years ago or something. Well, first time of me playing was actually about two years ago. But yeah, this is Neko Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over and over and over. Of course it will, because it's a Neko Flower. But like just going back here, here we met Papyrus, or I think we, we, we actually fought him, and you just, well the memories keep keep on coming coming back, it's locked from the inside, yep, that's the doghouse where we got trapped. Anything here? No, it's probably, oh, we can actually get in. Look in a closet? Yes. Closer hung up neatly inside. Oh. Yep. Papyrus laughs. Really laughs. Such stuff. Door's locked. I still can't get in and there's still something coming out from underneath. I don't know if that's some magic dust, light or just the odor that's become visible over time. So yeah. The dog family! Hi there! Having an amorphous shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I can't see them 100% of the time. Mm hmm. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay though. That's really brought our families together. Ooh! Yep, I just thought I don't want to imagine that, but. It's, it's right there, so you don't even have to imagine it. Hi there. Meow. And what do you have to say? Hmm. Now that our parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Hmm. Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. No, it isn't, but... Ugh. Nope. What do you have to say? Um. The talk... They talk the same language. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you, you be the translator. Thanks. But those are those parents? Good gosh. Welcome to the library. This is the last day you will be open, so make as much noise as you want. Thank you. Oh my, there's so much news to report. I don't know where to begin. How about this headline? Monsters go free from the underground. Nah, that doesn't have enough pizzas. How about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground? Um. Well, I know that top 10s are really popular, but I think all the monsters got freed, so you can't make a top 10 list. No. This will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big D end 
on the front of on call it a day mm, would be an option would be an option the greatest struggle of my life is over I just solved today's crossword we and you probably won't solve another one right so are you still here ah what a beautiful knock maybe if I don't answer I'll hear it again no, oh, my patience rewards me. Ah. 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 No, I won't knock anymore. Seems like it, this is the beginning, beginning of a brand new boundless world. Aha. This adventure spirit. I'm like a kid again. And my children are like double children. <laughs> Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? What? I don't think so. No, we can play monsters and humans with real humans. Well, you could uh, you could have asked me, but okay. Oh, we're free? Finally, we'll be able to stop st smiling. <laughs> Looks like I don't have my... To worry about cracking jokes anymore. Okay. I was going to say joke here, but I really don't have one. Well, how about re removing your scarf? Grillbase! Hi there! I wonder if the old world uh, has hot guys and they need drinks. Oh, I'm ready! Soon, I'll be able to try some human food. And then I guess I'll try a human bathroom too. Um, but please don't eat it. Hey, people won't have to move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, huh? Oh well, guess it can't be all punk peaches and punk cream. No, can't be. The jukebox is broken. Of course it's broken. Oh, hi there, dog. It finally won a game of poker against itself! Okay. In the end, I never caught any girls on my fishing line. So kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch hot people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you he hear a whinny of dismay. Mm, no, I don't think fishing works like that. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Gil Grilby anymore, which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. <laughs> Good job. And he ca he could talk all along. Oh, hi there. I heard Dr. Alphys told the king and queen the awful things she'd done. The king felt so bad that he didn't know. He gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. Now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. I don't... I mean, wait. Alphys uh, told us that Asgore told her to, to do such stuff. And now he didn't know? Or Asgore just ordered Alphys to do research and she, she'd done all those horrible things without telling him. I think, yeah, I think that must be it. Oh, hi there, monster kid. Yo, what's up? I've been kind of doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne mm, isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kind of mean. But yo, I found out about some someone way cooler. Who? <laughs> oh gosh, no. <sighs> Papyrus, of course. It'd be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. I think not, no. That kid over there told me that it's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? I don't think so. Mmm... Is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling amalgamates or... Mm, maybe? Maybe not. Hi there. Oh, little guy. Mom says that we can go to the surface world now. 
What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. <laughs> Hello, sorry, no time for a nap. Snow then is shutting down so we can all go to the surface. Yep, nothing happening here in particular. Shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Talk. What happened to human ruins future? What do you want to do in the future? Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. Haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Human? I heard that it, uh, it was all cause a human came through here. A human? I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Ah, yeah, you won't recognize me. Crap. I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash, flash of white light. Then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then suddenly everything was back to normal. Oh, that was the flash of light. So Napsablock sh shut himself in and he didn't get caught. So wait then, Techli technically Flowey didn't get all of the monster souls. So he couldn't be that powerful. By now, come again sometime. Yep, maybe we'll see each other in the overworld. So now we need to walk all the way back to the ruins. And well, luckily the puzzles aren't here anymore. Well, puzzles. Papyrus's uh, death machine or whatever. Oh, hi there, Snow Cone. Maybe someone on the surface will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? Probably yes. It must be bigger on the inside. Uh, I don't know how that would work, but yeah. We are finally here, good gosh. This took forever to walk here and like walking through the puzzles of the ruins. Like it makes you feel nostalgic, but nothing else happens because the frogs, they don't tell you anything else. But finally, we're back to the beginning, so who's here, you ask? This little guy is here. This little guy is here. Asriel, hi there. Golden flowers, they must have broken your fall. I'm talking to Asriel. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I, I, will, I keep talking to you. I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Abbott are, say, are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Yeah, why Why in the first place would we climb a mountain like this? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? Yeah, well, I don't know the answer, but Frisk sure knows, I hope so. I know why Mina climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Mina hated humanity. But why they did? They never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Oh, So Mina was bullied. Oh, poor thing. Frisk, you really are different from Mina. In fact, though you have similar um, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is... Mina wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk... You're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest. I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Mina and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. 
I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up a, a flower. Frisk, this whole time, I've blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But no, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage our war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it was the perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Oh, But yeah, Mina actually was a jerk. Well, the first fallen human, that is. I mean... That, that, that person wanted to... Like... Just wage a war against all of humanity and... I don't know what happened. But... Something terrible must have happened and I, I don't know... Maybe Mina wanted to take they, their own life and I, I can only imagine how, how hard of a life such a little person must have had to make such a decision also to hate all of humanity. So I'm not quite sure what happened there but please don't, don't bully other people. Well, if it's all in good fun, it's a, I think it's okay, but it takes a toll on your mind. And I, I know what I'm talking about because I was bullied for like 10 years at school and it, wa it wasn't a good time. No, not at all. And I think I would have given up when, well, if I didn't have some games and stuff around me just to enter another world and flee from reality a little bit. But yeah. I, I would, I wasn't at the point where I just wanted to wage war against everybody else. So Mina, well, the first fallen human, mu must have had a hard life. And yeah, I hope, or well, not only a hard life, but maybe just born into the wrong family. But you can't choose the family you're born into. So, well, some people believe that you can't choose. The family which you're born into but that's a whole other story so basically it's just a poor little person that just got like the the wrong end of the stick I would say Frisk thank you for listening to me you should really go be with your friends now okay oh and please in the future if you um, see me don't think uh, of it as me okay I just want to, you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowers out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? I think, yeah. Now you're finished with your talk. And, yeah. Asriel is right. Well, first of all, you can, like, you can restart the game and it actually will remember that you played it. So, you will get different dialogue from, from Flowey and such. Which is quite nice. Because the game, even if you don't save, the game doesn't forget. Which is quite weird, but I, I'm not quite sure. Well, other than that, Asriel is right. In, well, actually Frisk comes from, from the outside world, right? So Frisk should know. But yeah, in, in the real world, I, I guess Asriel was talking about the real world here. Well, outside of this game. And yeah, there are a lot of flowers out here and you can't always be nice. You, you can't just hug everyone. 
because like imagine if if someone w would attack you with a gun or with a knife and you would just hug them that would that would be your death and there's not 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 a thing like um, resetting or something well at least I don't believe it oh crap where do you where do I have to go I think it was here and then here and then here yes so you would be dead and I don't think that that would be your goal of life well you you will end up being dead at the end of your life but that's that's not the main goal I think of life and everybody has uh, some other goal for life so fi find your goal find what you want to accomplish and just go for it and if so if if you if you cross some flowers across the way along the way I mean then do your best to handle it I mean sometimes you you need to you need to attack them or like if they attack you you need to do something to protect yourself so well just to state the point that is and I guess that's okay that's okay if, if you don't want something to happen then say it stand there firmly and say no this is not what I would like to happen so it's my opinion you can do whatever you want but I would like to do something else I mean it takes some courage okay but if you just say oh yes and okay to everything it's it's gonna destroy you sometime also that said I'm gonna walk back to the end from the beginning to the end I'm gonna make a cut here so see you at the end this world is really extensive, like just walking with, with shortcuts, it takes you about, I would say 10 minutes to get back from the beginning to the end. Without solving puzzles, without, without talking to anyone. Good gosh, that was a long walk. But now that everyone's here, we can finally go to the outside world. Hello Frisk, Elf has upgraded my phone. I'm having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori, that's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. <laughs> you two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You're not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. <laughs> oh gosh, those three are just too good together. So, um, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we are all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Oh well, of course I'm going to go out and... Um, no, I should be honest. I'm gonna stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit! Everyone, a celebration to being losers! <laughs> Papyrus has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing to ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... <laughs> what is it, Ascor? Um, what's an... Anime? Oh my god! <laughs> Frisk, please help me explain what anime is to ask her. You see, it's like a cartoon, but um, with swords, with guns. Uh, both? So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? There's not the anime. <laughs> Oh, hold on, I uh, think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, um, that's the, that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Golly, where are those two robots? Kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, sure is. Oh, good gosh, no. So. 
let's just save here and go out finally finally we're free if you leave here your adventure will really be over your friends will follow you out of the underground don't leave I'm ready we're so ready now my body is ready as one famous Nintendo employee once said or was it Sony I think it's it's Nintendo right there the first time they see the Sun oh my isn't it beautiful everyone oh wow it's even better than on TV sure it is way better better than I ever imagined Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sons, what's a giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. <laughs> you're seeing the sun, you're not meeting it. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Mm, well, you can every day and every every morning, every evening, but not in the night. Then there's the moon. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Uh, well, I'm the only human who knows both sides, so... Yes, and well, I don't know about anything about Frisk's life before, so... Maybe Frisk has something else to do, but... Sure, yeah, I want to be the ambassador. Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador, and I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, well, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. And of course, Sans walks into the other direction. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! <laughs> Hey, Undyne, wait up! And now there's only the three of us left. Uh, whoops. What whoops? Uh, should I do something? Stare. Mm, well, gotta go. <laughs> It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Oh, poor Asgore, he wanted to talk to Toriel. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you. I have places to go. Well, as Asriel said, why, why did Frisk climb this mountain? Why? I mean, such a ch gentle soul, and maybe Frisk wa wanted to just disappear or something? And not go back, so maybe Frisk wants to go back, or... If Frisk didn't change his mind, he wants to stay with Toriel. Or they want to stay with Toriel, because Frisk is an ambiguous name. It's not a he or a she, you can choose. But for some reason, I feel it's a he, but whatever you're comfortable with. But I'm gonna say I want to stay with Toriel, but well, then I have to eat snails. Hmm. Well, I guess to Frisk seems quite happy with Toriel, so... What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. <laughs> well, I suppose if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. Alright? Now, come along. And of course, because it's Toriel, 
she will take us by the hand, though it should be the other way around, because Frisk actually comes from this world. Everyone is waiting for us. Bye. Have a nice life together. So, yeah, this is the end. And now we have the credit scene. And probably the camera will die for a few seconds somewhere right now or something. And we have here the whole credits. Professional Frog. And I'm... I'm not quite sure what those yellow names mean. Is it because we got... I'm not quite sure. Not at all. And when does it begin? There we go. Papyrus. By Toby and Tammy. Sons by Toby. So yeah, Tammy was also an artist here. Special inspiration. <laughs> so they seem to have quite a nice life there. Oh wow. Semi-successful comedian. Thinking about his head. It also tells what became of all those characters. Has his own seeing eye dog. <laughs> of course. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Of course. Because Asgar and Toriel are there to win. Ah. Oh. It feels so good. Oh, <laughs> those! It feels so good to actually, actually have finished this game again. And now she becomes, yeah, she gets red and takes 9,999 damage. And the undine is just too strong for everything. And yeah, it made me feel nostalgic all the more because. Well, I played this with a friend uh, approximately one or two years ago. Yeah, would be. And it's just so, uh, so heartwarming. Such a heartwarming story. Like, usually, when you play so through such role playing ga games, it's like, oh, here comes a monster, it attacks you, so you need to kill it. And this just takes. Takes a whole a whole other angle on this the series or this genre of role playing games that you can actually choose whether you want to kill or not and be nice. So uh, and Toby Fox is just, a, just such a genius. I mean, he did the soundtrack. He he did the story. He did some of yeah, uh, what's it called? Like designs for the monsters. I don't know what else to say. He is just su such a genius, and all the cultural references and memes and tropes and jokes. It's it's just such a fun game, even if you're not good at it, like me. It's just yeah. Does it finally begin? I'm, s I'm still waiting because there's something to do dur during the credits scene where I probably won't be able to talk much. School. Of course, Toriel opened a school. And the monster kid goes to sad school. Mount Abbott. The end. Nope, it's not the end. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think it was over? Uh, hi there. Uh, I, I mean, we we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Yeah, now comes the thing where I need to do something. Because I just need to dodge all of this. 
And if I do good, the room should should unlock the special room before Snowden. Uh, yeah, you need to be really good at this. Ah, crap. <laughs> No, 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 no. I don't think I, I have seen anybody doing a perfect cr perfect credits run yet. Uh -huh, no. Ah, oh, good gosh. Come on. It's really hard to... <laughs> no, please, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm bad at this. I'm really, really bad at this. <laughs> Again. And I think it even gives you a s crap, a score at the end. How many you touched. Could you please? No, stop it. <laughs> Stop! Ow! Well, we got infinite HP, and this is a really nice credit scene because you actually need to do something during the scene. <laughs> Touch credits. Oh! Well, the first time I played it, the, the credits, the touch credits were quite a bit longer. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us. And Undertale team thanks you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all of this would be impossible. Good night. Well, thanks. Can I give my heart to you? It just becomes dark. We, we got some pie from Toriel again. So nice. And this really was the end this time. Oh, such a nice thing to finally got getting to the end of this game. And as I said, I won't be doing the genocide route because I wouldn't be with my with my gaming skills, well, Gaming skills, well, I, I don't think they're even existent, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be able to do it at all. Even Jacksepticeye, I think he did, I don't know how, how much time it took him to beat the final boss. Oh, hi there, annoying dog. And yeah, I mean, if, if it takes him like, I don't know, 10 hours or something to beat the final boss alone. Well, the rest of the game is like done in, I think, one or two hours, not like 10 or something like I did here. So, no, I won't be doing that. The, the, as I said, Jacksepticeye has done a genocide route and some other people have, so you can go and watch it on their channel because I won't be doing it now. It would be interesting though, but I, I would be really, really good at playing this and I'm not. So yeah, I, I won't do it. If I if I ever will do it, I will, I'll be sure to record it, maybe. And the final episode will just be like three months after the first episodes. Or maybe I just record it and hold back until I've got everything. I don't know. I probably won't do it, so don't even expect that. So... If you wanted to see it, sorry. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to some somebody else's channel and watch it there, please. That being said, thanks everybody so much for tagging along this awesome journey through Undertale. Even though you probably knew the story already and stuff, or maybe not. Maybe you find you somehow managed to dodge all of 
this Undertale fan craze that was happening one or two years ago. I don't know how you you did, but I would say congr congratulations on dodging that one. It went to sleep. Oh, yeah, I, I should probably end this episode and let the annoying, annoying dog sleep for good. So yeah, thanks everybody so much for watching from the bottom of my heart for tagging along through this journey. Thanks everybody so much. I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay determined. Was...